Hello friends, welcome back to Mu S Academy. In today's session, we are going to discuss the differences between our two deployment targets and both the deployment targets are, are hosted by MuleSoft. Okay, so one we have 1.0, Cloud of 1.0 and another is Cloud of 2.0. So there is a basic uh, backend difference between these two. So whenever, whenever I say deploy my application, it could be in shared space, it could be in VPC, private space, anywhere. The moment I, I hit this, this button, deploy, okay? What happens in Cloud of 1.0? We'll get AWS EC2 instance. That will get spin up for me. Based on the configuration, whatever configuration I pass from here, okay? So our, our um, request will be passed on to our runtime plane and then we'll get EC2 instance for the uh, deployment and we call it a mule worker in other words. On top of it, my mule app will get hosted. Here, in case of cloud of 2.0, we'll get AWS EKS cluster and one of the worker will be chosen for the <clears throat> for the deployment inside that worker one pod will be created and inside that pod our app will be deployed new app in both the scenarios there will be one to one mapping any point of time one worker will have one app one pod will have one app in both the scenarios okay again i'm mentioning you can you can take any example you either you are deploying it to the shared vpc or we private vpc dedicated vpc shared space or private space okay now let's talk about more differences between our our um, uh, cloud of 1.0 and 2.0 so if we focus on technology or terminology changes we have the concept called vpc in case of cloud of 1.0 and we have private space so this is a dedicated or we can say single tenancy space will get it for uh, for deployment okay so we have dedicated vpc here we have dedicated uh, uh, private space so we are actually here we are extending our, our, uh, our network. So for extending network, we have VPC in cloud of 1.0. We have private space in, in uh, cloud of 2.0. There is a worker concept in cloud of 1.0. There is a replica concept and door concepts in, in, in cloud of 2.0. We need a dedicated load balancer. If you want to use, uh, you know, vanity, vanity URLs or if I want to upload the you know, uh, custom domain certificates, we need a dedicated load balancer. In same page, we, we get the ingress controller or load balancer. In case of sort of 2.0 private space. And this will be associated with the private space. The way DLB is associated with the private space. In case of Cloud of 1.0 DLB is optional component, but in case of Cloud of 2.0 Ingress Load Balancer is a compulsory component. In case of Cloud of 1.0, let me put it the tag over here. This is 1.0. This is 2.0. In 1.0, we can bypass DLB and directly trigger the mule worker. But in case of Cloud of 2.0, we cannot trigger any pod directly. We need to go in any case, we need to go via Ingress load balancer only okay so here we have public space as a public worker clouds here we have again shared space and in that case also we'll get a eks cluster only okay so it's very clear in this in a technology point of view to see uh and one more thing if you are going with the uh, dlb here we need to pay pay for it here, this is ingress load balancer is free. So this is a technology level changes happened uh, from 1.0 uh, and 1.0 to 
Now let me go to the the some more differences. So provisioning, yes, both are provisioning and scaling are supported by both. URL writing, which is very, very important. We can achieve URL rewriting at DLP level in VPC if we have DLP, but it's very easy at app level in uh, Cloud Approval Zero. Load balancer logs, it, which was very, very important. Uh, we were struggling for the logs of the load balancers. Now that option is available in our Cloud of 2.0. Multiple custom endpoints partially supported uh, with the help of DLB in Cloud of 1.0, but it's supported by uh, you know uh, Cloud of 2.0 at app level, at private space level. Multiple trust stores, that is our client uh, certificates, multiple client certificates, multiple uh, you know for mutual TLS, we can uh, upload at the private space level here. While configuring our custom domain, we have we have option to upload. We have very intuitive uh, UI in Cloud of 2.0. Uh, we can, while configuring our private space itself, we can configure domains, we can configure our network, we can configure our inbound firewall rules, fi uh, outbound firewall rules. Okay, so in nutshell, the multiple trust sources are not supported in 1.0, but those are supported in 2.0. If you're talking about the connectivity options, now there are, we have less connectivity options in, in Cloud of 2.0. Why I'm saying? Because the direct connect and VPC peering is removed. It's not supported in Cloud of 2.0 now. We have only option to go ahead with VPN and transit gateway. The intention behind uh, removing the support for direct connect and uh, VPC peering um, uh, they wanted to make Cloud of 2.0 more self-service, okay? Because if you remember, for the direct connect and for VPC peering, we need to contact Microsoft support team to help with this. So we need to fill the form, submit the form, and based on their availability, we'll get a uh, support from the Microsoft. okay? Now, one more good thing we are getting it in the uh, Cloud of 2.0, we are getting a redundant VPN now, and redundant VPN gives us the High availability for VPN. Okay, so during our maintenance, one uh, one uh, VPN instance you can do the maintenance. Other VPN will be available for our connectivity. Outbound firewall rules. If I want to, you know, uh, so let's say this is my VPC or private space. So from here, if I want to control the outgoing traffic, there is no way in Cloud of One Dot Zero. But now in Cloud of 2.0, we are having outbound firewall rules. I can write, I can say that this outgoing tra traffic should go only on HTTPS. I can write firewall rules, outbound firewall rules for this. Okay, log forwarding. So log forwarding is supported for app here and uh, supported, which is similar to the log uh, uh, Cloud of 1.0 and 2.0. But one thing here in the log forwarding, uh, we can use, um, I mean, the custom log4j is by default out of the box supported by the Cloud of 2.0. So now we don't need to contact to uh, disable the Cloud of Logs in case of Cloud of 2.0, but in case of Cloud of 1.0, we need to go ahead, disable the Cloud uh, cloud of Logs if you want to stop, uh, you know, if you want to use the custom log4j file from your app, for logging point of view. Now we can have custom log for J. You can you can add the appenders over here. Appenders, whether appenders for Splunk or ELK, you can go ahead and add it, and your logs will get forwarded to the Splunk or ELK right away. Okay. Then we have something called custom notifications, which was supported by the Cloud of 1.0 by using Cloud of Connectors. Now that is not getting supported in Cloud of 2.0. Okay. Now, logging point of view, just now I've discussed, we have option to download the uh, load balancer logs and we, we can use the custom log4j, which is supported by default, which enables the streaming logs to the external log collectors. And we don't need any support. That's where the intention is to make the services self-service. So we don't need any uh, help from the new sort support team. Okay. And we have option to, you know, application and ingress logs are collected automatically by the platform. And we have option there to enable applications logs for each individual application. 
Now, if I go little down, if we, if we, if I want to highlight a few features from the cloud of 2.0, so one is we are now able to write firewall rules for outbound traffic. We have set off inbound and outbound static IPs. Okay, so this to simplify the the whitelisting. For example, I have a app running inside my space and i want to get the data from some server which works with whitelisting okay so now i can use my outbound static ips uh, to whitelist uh, those so my my outbound traffic is anyways going via egress load balancer or i can say nat gateway and my incoming traffic is coming via ingress load balancer so now the security level we are uh, i mean our uh, uh, private space is uh, more secure or if you want to see the outbound traffic uh, and uh, uh, you know if you want to give the uh, IP addresses for for your app okay to get whitelisted in the target system we can use this static IPs and these static IPs incoming and outgoing static IPs are at private space level not at the app level but if you want to do the same thing in the cloud of 1.0 I can assign the static IP at app level and that static IP will be available for with that app, uh, you know, uh, unless if I delete that app or completely redeploy in different region. In, in these two scenarios only that static uh, IP will be, you know, uh, the link between the app and the static IP will be deleted. Otherwise, it will be there with that app so that I can use it for whitelist. Okay. Now I have option for um, you know uh, download the logs. That point we have already discussed. Multiple TLS context we can uh, upload in 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 Cloud of Broad Zero for each private space, so that I get per app I get multiple public URLs per app, multiple public URLs is not possible in in Cloud of One Dot Zero. Okay. Now we have fraction uh, V core sized available in Cloud of 2.0. So, like 0 0.5, 0 0.1.5, 0 2.5. This was not available in Cloud of 1.0. Now, maximum V cores I can use in Cloud of 2.0 is four V cores. I cannot go more than this. Okay. But in case of Cloud of 2.0, it's 16. 16 V cores. Till 16 V cores, I can give that in the configuration while deployment. I can create eight replicas here, similar in case of cloud of 2.0, it's we can go deploy our applications on eight workers. Eight is like a magical, magical number in, in I mean, soft territory. So eight workers you can use in, in cluster, eight workers you can use in uh, server group, eight replicas, maximum eight replicas you can create, maximum eight workers you can go for, this is for high availability. Okay. We talked about per application multiple endpoints. Now, last mile security and SSL forwarding is supported by Cloud of 2.0 to handle one way and two way SSL. Okay. So, for one way, last mile security option has to be enabled at the uh, ingress level. If you want to achieve two-way SSL, then SSL forwarding has to be enabled at the ingress level. Okay. Let's see more differences between Cloud of 1.0 and 2.0. So now there is no support for persistent VM queue. Okay. So uh, in, in, in case, in that case, we need to go for object store. Now our Cloud of 2.0 only supports 4.3 and above. So if you are planning for migration, we need to upgrade our application with 4.0. If, if the old application uses VM, then go for object store. If we have some connectivity from you know uh, VPC peering, then we need to upgrade to the uh, transit gateway or VPN like that. Our patching is similar. It, it, it achieved via zero downtime. We have here very important point in cloud of 
1.0 we can have any traffic here we have only http traffic so non http workloads are not supported okay right now if i am saying today if i take the difference data graph proxies flex gateway are limited to the cloud of 1.0 right now but they are in their roadmap okay so if you are planning for migration from cloud of 1.0 to 2.0 uh, requires a redeployment uh, recreation and here so we'll get uh, uh, you know actually we, we we need to do little research because you need to understand what is there in the old app and then accordingly you can move so for this we'll get uh, you know extra v course for that okay and for cloud of 2.0 our automation part where we used um, mune Maven plugin and any point CLI these are upgraded for cloud of 2.0 so when we are uh, you know uh, configuring your app for cloud of 2.0 deployment we need to be choose we need to choose our a specific uh, mule Maven plugin version and we need to go for now right now the any point CLI version 4 is there so accordingly we need to use for cloud of 2.0 okay then uh, uh, some limitations are there uh, even we are discussing the differences but let's talk about the limitations so we can go ahead and create 100 uh, private spaces we can create 10 vpns which are almost similar to the uh, cloud of 1.0 we can upload 10 custom uh, ers context for private space okay and uh, we can go for 40 inbound firewall rules and 40 outbound firewall rules. This uh, application size, which we are, uh, if we are planning to deploy, that is uh, exactly similar to the cloud of 1.0. The log size, which is 100 MB, which is again similar to the cloud of 1.0, 30 days. This is similar to the cloud of 1.0. Okay. So that's all. Uh, transit gateway, we can create five depending on our license. Uh, private space, maximum can go 100, but if you buy a, a base license, we'll get two. Uh, two v VPC is equivalent to a private space. So we'll get two VPCs. If you want more, you need to buy it. Okay. VPNs also the same way. So whenever you are creating something, check your license, what all things are there, what all entitlements are enabled on your license okay so that's all from this session hope you liked it hope you enjoyed the session uh, before uh, uh, that i say uh, i'll recommend everyone to please go ahead subscribe the channel hit the like button hit the bell icon so that you'll get uh, notifications for upcoming videos thank you thank you for watching